All right, hello. Uh, I've come your way again. I just want to make a contribution to the the ongoing bruhaha on the platform regarding a certain amount of loan uh, money that was uh, that was taken as loan and the the the, the, the disparity in the the alleged disparity uh, in the in the monthly deduction. All right, I want us to quickly remember that uh, interest is calculated mathematically uh, with a particular formula, which uh, is I for interest, P for principal, R for rate, and T for time. So therefore, it is interest equal to principal times rate times time divided by 100. It used to be, uh, the short form of it is uh, I equal to PRT over 100. All right. Then again, uh, we should also bear in mind that in our cooperative here in NECO, we operate on a reducing uh, balance kind of a thing, meaning that uh, the amount uh, of what you pay as interest in the first year of the loan that you take is uh, not a flat rate, meaning that in the first year it reduces, sorry, after the first year it reduces to a lower amount in the second year, and then in fact the, in the last year it even reduces even further. So to get that, it will be okay for us to use uh, the figure 2 million naira that Mr. A took, for instance. So uh, note that you are going to also bear in mind a certain amount of money from this loan that is paid uh, at the end of every year. So I will divide 2 million by 3, meaning the 3 years for full loan if that is the case, and then we will have uh, 666,667 kobo approximated. All right, so uh, in the first year, Mr. A took the loan of 2 million. We need to determine the interest he will pay at the end of the first year. Remember, our rate is 3%, and the full loan runs for three years. So 2 million is the, 2 million is the principal, three, this first three is the rate, the second three is the time. And this will now be divided by 100. Zero, zero. So we have an interest of 180,000. 180,000 will be added to the 2 million in order to determine the total interest for the first year or if he is able to offset his loan in the first year he would have paid only 180,000 naira as interest so uh, in as much as he cannot do the payment in one month we have to determine the easiest way he can pay it so we, did, we assume 36 so this amount will be divided by the 36 months in three years, and you have 600 and I mean 60,555 naira 56 kobo. This is the monthly deduction for the first year. Now, to determine the monthly deduction for the second year, we are going to now remember that we had said that we are having 666,067 kobo. Uh, 666,667 kobo as what is payable at the end of each year. All right, so uh, this times uh, two, because he has paid off one year, is now having the balance of 1,333,000 naira, or 1,333,333 naira, 34 kobo. So we determine the interest he will be paying back also in the second year. 
So this will be multiplied by rate, which is still 3%. Now times 2, because it's having two, only 2 years more to go. Then divided by the usual 100, and you're having 80,000 Naira as the amount of money he is to pay back. So this is added to the remaining balance at the end of the fourth year, which is 1,333,333 Naira 34 Kobo. Then we have 1,413,333 Naira 34 Kobo. This will now be divided by the 24 months remaining uh, in two years. So your deduction will now be 58,888 Naira 89 Kobo in the, in the second year. Now for the third year, the same thing will happen. You are only now having 666,606 Naira 67 Kobo left. This will now be multiplied by 3% times only one year divided by 100. Uh, you're having 20,000 Naira left. All right. So this again will also be added. Uh, I mean 20,000 will be the interest. So this will also be added to 666,000 666 Naira 67 Kobo to have uh, 686,666 Naira 67 Kobo. This will now be divided by 12 months. Uh, and in the last year, you will be paying 57,222 Naira 22. I hope this uh, helps you to understand the calculation of your loan that you you will take or that you have taken. Thank you.